What's important to understand is that consumers wake up every morning and they want to know more about food. They want to know where their food comes from, who's making their food, the source of it, and we have more attention about food today than ever in our lifetime. What we did is put together a survey that talks about the high stakes of food safety in dairy, deli, bakery, and prepared foods. And there is a lot of data here, much more than we can do, so please go to IDDBA's website, Safe Food Matters, download a copy. It is very rich in information that's critical for our success. The highlight that I want to share with you, probably the most important aspect we've seen for decades where people are choosing their store based on their produce department, that's about to change. People are choosing their store based on dairy, deli, bakery, and prepared foods. And that's something that is so different and so critical for us to understand and to take advantage of. Because if you don't take advantage of it the right way, guess what happens? They leave the store. One-third of U.S. shoppers have left unclean supermarkets. More than half report that they'll switch stores that excel in food safety. And keep in mind, when you're in a deli department, you've got time. More time than probably in any other part of the store. So you're watching. You're looking at things that typically you wouldn't see in center store. You wouldn't see in the meat case. It's a whole different interactive, much more personal experience than people are used to. And frankly, I would suggest that a lot of retailers and a lot of brands don't even think about that. We believe that somebody goes into a store, they're walking up to the counter, they take their goods, they move on their way. Not true when it comes to dairy, deli, bakery, and prepared foods. And also, let's not forget one of the most important aspects is the human contact that we have in these departments. More questions are asked, whether it's about serving suggestions, whether it's about ingredients, whether it's about preparation, much more interactivity. And if, in fact, we are to grow and continue to grow as we're seeing different trends, like the grocerant trend going through supermarkets, we've got to be on top of this. If you screw up on food safety, you're out of business. And I'm not talking about somebody getting sick. I'm just talking about someone who frankly walks in and sees a dirty floor or a dirty counter or dim lights. It's critical that we pay attention to the little things. And what we're starting to see is Dairy Deli Bakery is more important than the overall store when it comes to food safety. It has become the most important department in a supermarket. My challenge to all of you is are we ready to take this on? Are we prepared to take it on? Because if we're not, there's some issues. So what are people looking for? when it comes to the traits of leadership for Dairy Deli. Number one, pristine. Clean, clean, clean. We know it, we say it, we talk it. The question is, are we doing it? Also, people want to see people getting clean. So washing their hands in front of customers, putting on plastic gloves, critical. Also, people want signage. People want to know that their food handlers have been trained. They want people who are neat. They want people who are clean. And this is critical. 
Now, the good news is that supermarkets are the most trusted food format when it comes to food safety. And it's the department manager who is actually even more important than the butcher who ranks last or the store manager. People have said that if you perform properly in dairy, deli, bakery prepared foods, people will shop more in that store. So we've got to think holistically about this department. We've got to think holistically about food safety. It is not a one note. It is not something that you do once and forget about. It is not a training program that you implement and then you leave and hope that the staff can execute. It's a lot more than that. We've got to look at this department differently than we've ever looked at it, if in fact it's to grow. So 85% need to feel confident of their store when it comes to food safety. Because if they feel confident, they'll be loyal. If they don't feel confident, guess what? They're going to shop elsewhere. 75%, almost 75% say that their store is always clean. And many of us would pat our backs for that. Not so much for me. 25% says it's occasionally messy. That has to be zero when it comes to instilling loyalty and consumer confidence. If we want to grow our businesses, if we want the supermarket channel to continue to grow versus eroding, which it has been in the past 10 years, we need to wake up. Let's not forget over the past 10 years, supermarkets have lost 15% market share to other channels of distribution, whether that be dollar stores, whether it be CVS and Walgreens, whether it be outlet stores, warehouse clubs, we are losing market share, folks. And there's certain highlights that we can bring people back in. It's not all about price. It never has been. We've got to instill loyalty and confidence if we're going to win and take back this market share. If we take a look at the workers themselves, and let's start there because that's probably the most important aspect that people see. The way people dress, the way they're groomed, that marks the store as being powerful. It marks the store as being there for them and that they care about food safety. What inspires confidence? Number one, clean disposable gloves. Number two, wearing a hair restraint, clean jackets, department manager that has a sign that says they're certified in food safety. On and on and on. The list goes long. Again, make sure you go to Safe Food Matters to get all the details. But it's a lot of these little traits that we forget about that are so important to consumers, especially since they're standing there. So what ruins this entire experience? No surprise, sneezing, coughing, visible wounds, long hair unrestrained, visible bandages, a bushy beard, I guess I should do this, long sideburns, a bushy mustache, false fingernails, body piercings, and acne and blackheads. Relatively common sense. But so often in today's world, we are actually afraid, possibly because of human resources, possibly because the trends are changing, to instill these kinds of activities on our store staff. And I have to reassure you 
that you don't have a choice. Talk to your HR folks, figure it out. But having someone working in a prepared foods department that has body piercings is not going to instill a lot of confidence. The physical appearance is critical to this overall department. So when somebody walks in, and again, as I started to say, the produce department used to be the hero. It was aromatherapy. It was beautiful colors, wonderful aromas. It set the stage. You have a great produce department, people stay in the store longer. But it's the dairy, deli, bakery, prepared foods department that is taking over. That when you walk in and you see the people and the cleanliness and the aromas, it changes everything. And we've got to take a look at the physical setting of this department. And maybe it's time to change it up a little bit. Maybe it's gotten a little boring. Maybe we do things because that's where the refrigeration is, or the electricity is, or the deli case is. And look at some of the new store formats that are taking place. How the stores are rearranging themselves to be more consumer-centric, to be more fun, to celebrate food. So, the top 10 that inspire confidence, needless to say, clean floors. And for so many stores, and this is changing rapidly, but for so many stores, the excuse has always been to put down the rug runners because the floor could be wet or it hides something. Well, it's time to get those up and clean the floors and have scales and slicing machines out where people can see them, not behind the counter. Having thermometers, whether they be LED or manual thermometers out there where people can see. And light. People like light, especially when it comes to food. What's damaging the most? A prepared food station without sneeze guards. And you know those bug zappers? that the kids love. It could be in the department. It could even be by the, the restroom. And the kids love it. They go, wow, zip, zip. This is not a good thing when you're selling food. Also, one of the biggest surprises that we had from our consumer panel is they don't like take your own samples. How many cheese tables, how many delis have those little plastic domes where we set out the cheese and we put toothpicks in it and we think we're doing them a favor. We think we're instilling celebration of food and they're telling us just the opposite. They don't want to take their own samples because they're afraid of someone else who have taken their own samples before them. We need to think logically. So what's the best thing that you could do in your dairy, deli, bakery, prepared foods department? Put up signs that show your food safety grade. Let people know that you're working on it. Let people know that you've educated your store staff. That's critical. In today's environment, we're all inundated between the text and the audio and our iPhones and everything. We've got an attention span of a gnat. Make the sign big. Make the sign prominent. It used to be that we would put those signs in the back because we really didn't care all that much. Now people want to see it front and center. It's critical to be able to do that. This physical setting of the dairy deli department is so important to your success and the success of your entire store. 
not just one department. So what can you do to inspire confidence in food safety? Number one, our consumer panel said, place the foods so that they don't touch or cross-contaminate. And you know how often you can go into a store, especially sliced deli, and it's piled up, it's shaved, it's next to each other, and we think, wow, that looks so great. Well, when it comes to food safety, not so great. Also, what our panel told us, which was shocking to me, and I never thought about it, they're counting the seconds that it takes for the person behind the counter to wrap their food. And they don't want them to talk to them. They want them to slice it, to wrap it. They want to see people checking both the hot temperature and the cold temperature, especially as more stores are putting out steam tables, whether it be for soups or hot foods or cold foods. They actually want to see somebody walking around checking that. Also, sloppy counts. If the deli server is taking that spoon and plopping it in that plastic tub, and it's not neat, that sends a signal to the shopper that that person, frankly, just doesn't care about what you're buying, and that's wrong. Once again, our panel said, get rid of those take-your-own sample plates. Get rid of them. They don't belong there. They are the number one reason that people lose confidence in that department. And number two is giving somebody a free sample while they're slicing meat. I went to school in, in Philadelphia, and I remember as a college kid that there was a deli there called Koch's, and it was a long, narrow, um, deli, and it was only open for lunch. And you would wait online for a sandwich anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes. And while you were waiting online, there was someone who would walk by with a plate of sliced meat. It could be corned beef, it could be roast beef, it could be whatever it was that day. And you would just pick a piece off that plate with your fingers while you were waiting. And we thought that was the coolest thing ever. Of course, we were 17. Times have changed. People are concerned. And there's a time for sampling and a way to sample and a time not to sample. So it's critical as we look at the entire supermarket, at the growth of supermarkets to really showcase this department, our department. Because while produce might have 500 SKUs, of which probably 15, actually people have any idea what they are, we've got a plethora of foods, of indulgence, of taste, of health, we should put the star on this department. And what's going to be critical is to make sure that we're looking at food safety properly. We also asked shoppers what they know about food safety. Number one, which was very surprising to me, they know about cross-contamination. Or at least they say they know about cross-contamination. Physical contaminants, number two. Time and temperature is critical. Salmonella and E. coli. This is what they say they know. So what can you do to reinforce these messages? To make sure that this top five list you're addressing on a consistent basis. That you've got information available, whether it's on your website or in your store, and your staff knows how to address these kinds of issues. These are five must-haves. What do they care the most about? 
Or, in other words, what are they fearful of? Salmonella is number one. And as we get more advanced in science and in food safety, we're going to find more bacteria. We just are. Technology is getting better. You know, people look at, at the stats and they say, oh, we never had this many food safety outbreaks. Yeah, we had a lot more. We just didn't know about it. So people want to know that you know, that you're aware. And keep in mind, we've got a fabulous phenomenon going on when it comes to food and health and food safety, and it's called Dr. Google. So what happens is you have a question about salmonella, you go on, you type in, and in you know, a, a tenth of a second, you have 1,454,000 responses, and you start looking through them, and 50% of what's there is right, and 50% of what's there is not, and you don't know the difference. So it's imperative for retailers and brands to have this truthful scientific information available through your sources. Now, what was interesting to us as well is when we found that to order versus pre-sliced had such a significant difference, especially in deli meats, cheese, and deli salads. People want this interaction. Let's not forget that. It's critical to build this department. When we take a look at what really matters to consumers when it comes to taste and health, and food safety. We can't rest on our laurels. We cannot rest on the past performance. Food safety is every single minute that your store is open and your store is closed. A lot of stores are now open 24 hours. And what we find for those shoppers who go in those off hours, what we find is sloppy floors, boxes all over the place. The Dairy Deli Bakery Prepared Foods Department needs to be the leader for the entire supermarket as it relates to cleanliness and as it relates to food safety. It is the showpiece. It is the most important department in the store. And if we start wearing that badge, and we start leading the rest of the store in these kinds of practices, store sales will go up. Loyalty will go up. New shoppers will be attracted to your store. So I urge you, go to Safe Food Matters on the IDDBA website. Download the full research report. I've just touched on a few things. And keep in mind this challenge to make dairy, deli, bakery prepared foods the most important department in the store. Thank you very much.